Our presentation today will be titled, Forget Value Billing, Think Value Building. I'd like to welcome you. My name is Div Bensali. I'm the Vice President at Accountants World. And thank you for joining us today. A couple of tips for you. If you haven't used the GoToWebinar tool before, or if it's been a while, uh, you can expand or hide the GoToWebinar control panel by using that orange arrow. If you'd like to change your audio options at any point, you can listen in via your computer speakers or dialing in via phone. And so if you click on audio, it'll provide you with either of those options. If you select phone call, it will then give you a access code or a dial-in number and an audio pin uh, to be able to access today's presentation. If you have any questions for Dr. Bansali during or after the presentation, simply expand the questions tab type in your question and click send, and either he or one of us will try to respond to your question during or after the presentation. And again, as I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, if you haven't yet downloaded the slide deck that Dr. Pensali will be going through today, you can do that by clicking on the handouts tab, and you'll see a PDF file in there that you can open up and follow along with us. Today's webinar is eligible for one free CPE, and CPE credit is contingent on active webinar participation, and there are basically three qualifications for that. Uh, number one, attending the live webinar for no less than 50 minutes. Number two, responding to all three polling questions during the webinar. And then number three, as soon as you close out of the webinar at the end of the presentation, a post-webinar survey will open up, and you simply need to go ahead and fill that out and submit it. If you don't see it or you forget to fill it out at that point, no worries, we'll email a link to you as well. Simply go ahead and fill out that post-webinar survey within 24 hours after the webinar has ended. Today's presentation is the kickoff event for the 2017 Expert Webinar Series. The Expert Webinar Series is an annual event put together by Accountants World where we bring together some of the top thought leaders in accounting. Um, and the goal this year, uh, the, the focus of the Export Webinar Series this year is really unprecedented in scale. Uh, we're bringing together 12 of the leading thought leaders in and around accounting. Um, and the common goal of all of the expert webinars this year is to help you build up your practice um, and grow your relevance with your clients and help you to provide more value to your clients. So if that's something that you're interested in, we encourage you to attend as many of the 12 expert webinars as possible. Our next webinar is two weeks from today. It'll be at 2 p.m. Eastern rather than 3 p.m. Eastern. And that webinar is by Joel Sinkin. He's the president of Transition Advisors, LLC. And he'll be speaking on succession planning, perspectives from the seller and successor firm. If you haven't already signed up for that, I know many of you have already signed up for all 12 events. That's great. If you only have signed up for Dr. Pensali's event so far, simply go to awwebinars.com, standing for Accountants World Webinars. Uh, go to awwebinars.com, and you can then, in one submission form, sign up for all remaining webinars. And even if you don't get to attend some of them, you'll still receive a recording and the handout slides from those as well. So please go ahead and sign up for all of those. A brief word about our sponsor, Accountants World. Accountants World is the recognized pioneer in cloud computing solutions for accountants. We've been doing cloud computing for longer than the term cloud computing has existed, started up in 2001. And our mission is very simple. Our goal is to use cloud technology to help you, the professional accountant, grow your practices by regaining control over your core services, particularly accounting and payroll processing. Our professional accounting and bookkeeping solution, Accounting Power, and our live payroll processing solution, Payroll Relief, have both received five stars from CPA Practice Advisors and numerous other industry awards. And we're helping thousands of accountants across the country to revitalize their practices and continue to grow in demanding, challenging times. Secondly, we always put accountants first. We never compete with you by selling our products and services directly to your clients. That's something that really differentiates us from any other cloud-based solutions provider out there. If you'd like to learn more about our solutions or attend one of our accounting and payroll webinars, visit yeah. accountantsworld.com. 
And now I'd like to, uh, to present Dr. Chandra Bansali, a couple of brief uh, words about his uh, background and accomplishments. He's the CEO and co-founder of Accountants World. Dr. Bansali has been recognized as a thought leader on the role of technology in helping the accountants accounting practices to thrive. He presents at numerous conferences and events across the country throughout the year. And for over a decade, he's been consistently named one of the top 100 most influential people in accounting by Accounting Today. So at this time, I'd like to turn over the presentation to Chandra Bansali. Dave, thank you very much for your kind uh, for the kind introduction, and thank you all for attending this presentation. Now, those of you who have attended my previous presentations know that I give my presentation in hard, spicy accent. Fortunately, that's going to be the right tone for this presentation, because the topic we are going to be discussing is very hard topic. Now, Dave, before we start our presentation, can you bring up the polls so we can learn about everyone's experience with value billing and value pricing? Sure. Um, so let me go ahead and launch the first poll question. Attendees, you should be seeing the poll question in front of you right now. And the question is, what is your experience with value pricing? And you can select one of the following. Never tried value pricing, too complicated. Tried it with limited or no success. Tried it with great success just curious about it or not applicable because I'm not a decision maker in public practice. So if you can go ahead and select one of those options and then remember to click the submit button at the bottom. And just a reminder again, this is one of the three poll questions which is required in order to receive CP credit for today's event. So please make sure that your vote is counted. And we've got about 80% of people already go ahead and vote. So we'll take another 10 seconds here to give people a chance uh, to go ahead and get their vote in. All right, just a few more seconds here. Please remember to click the submit button after you select your vote. All right, going once, going twice. Okay, Chandra, and so the uh, results we are seeing here, 21% uh, of people have never tried value pricing, uh, split number with uh, tried it with limited success, tried it with great success, 31% are just curious about it. Okay, so this uh, reaffirms our belief that uh, for most accounting practices, it is difficult to, it is uh, difficult to use value pricing um, it's a great theoretical concept, but uh, it is uh, rather uh, limited uh, practical uh, application in uh, accounting and uh, uh, accounting and uh, tax and accounting services. The reason is that uh, there is no practical way to imply it in core tax accounting and payroll services. Now, over 80% of services that most CPA or accounting firms offer are commodity and compliance services. And unfortunately, value pricing is not the right candidate for those kind of services, or rather these services are not the right candidate for value pricing. So does that mean that there is no way to make um, these services more profitable? and uh, uh, add value to uh, your practice using these services? Uh, not at all. There are some much easier and practical ways to make your practice more profitable that we'll be discussing in this presentation. Now, before we do that, let's understand the reality of the digital age. Now, the common notion is that the price a buyer is willing to pay for a product or service it depends on that buyer's perceived value of that product or service in their mind, right? But 
as you can see there are on the screen major there are major companies that have turned the concept of value on its head they alter the correlation between value and pricing and by doing so they have become some of the most successful and valuable companies in the world now let me give you some examples <clears throat> I bought a car uh, which has a GPS and I paid a couple of thousand dollars for that. But when I go out to a new destination, I pull out my iPhone and I go to Google Maps and type the address there and I, you, instead I use Google Map because it's very difficult to enter address in the uh, GPS that comes with the car. And uh, I don't pay a single penny for Google Map. So can you see? I find something for which I have not paid anything more valuable than something for which I have spent a couple of thousand dollars. Now, you all uh, have some experience with, with Gmail. Many of you might be using it for your personal use, and many of you might even be using it for, for your pro professional use. Now, it's a very useful service. And how much you pay for it? Zippo, absolutely nothing. Similarly, there's another app called WhatsApp, and using that app, you can call anywhere in the world absolutely free, and it doesn't cost you anything. So do you see that, and these are all very successful companies, so do you see that how these companies have changed the concept of value and pricing? Now, you may argue that uh, all these are consumer services, and this concept will not apply to business services. Now, let me give you an important example. Amazon.com is one of the most valuable companies in the world, and you all know it. You may think that it's because of the hundreds of thousands of items they sell on their website, but the primary reason for their tremendous valuation and success is a business service they offer, which is called Amazon Web Service and or AWS in short. This is a hosting service which is used by some of the most successful companies in the world, including Netflix, Yelp, Expedia, Samsung, and a large percentage of Fortune 500 companies. It is one of the most useful business services today, and it is the lifeline of many businesses. But what does Amazon charge for this service? Absolutely something that is a commodity price. So, and uh, these companies that use these are paying fraction of what they are making from this hosting. So as you can see, some of the most successful companies have done so by turning something that is of high value into commodity, and then turning commodity into tremendous value. Isn't it mind boggling? So then the question is, how these companies have done this? And uh, you will see that there is a common thread between all of them. And the common thread is that all these companies have used cloud innovatively. And this is what precisely we are going to do. We are going to convert accounting and payroll services, which are perceived as commodity services, into highly profitable services. Now, before we do that, Dave, can you uh, come up the second poll so we can understand the demographics of our audience? Sure. So let me go ahead and bring up the second poll question here. And attendees, you should see it launched in just a moment here. And the question is, how many accounting clients do you have with your firm? And the options here are 1 to 25, 26 to 75, 76 to 150, or more than 150. And the final option, not applicable because I'm not in public accounting. So again, please go ahead and select one of those following options and click the submit button uh, to make sure that your vote is counted. Just a reminder again, uh, this is the second of the three poll questions, all of which are required in order for you to receive CPE credit today. Duke, can you speak up a little bit? Volume is very low. Uh, sure, I can adjust that. 
Okay, so we'll take just a couple of, uh, about 10 more seconds here to, uh, for anyone who hasn't voted yet. All right, going once, going twice. Okay, Chandra, so we see almost the same number have between 1 and 25 and 26 to 75 clients, and then a smaller number between 76 and 150 and more than 150. Also, so it appears that uh, about half the audience has a uh, um, number of uh, accounting clients which are in excess of 25. Now, absolutely, basically what we are going to be discussing is going to be a lot more useful if you have anywhere from at least 20 to 25 uh, clients. And uh, if you have fewer number of clients, the best thing for you is to take advantage of what we are discussing to increase the number of clients. Now, <clears throat> before we discuss how we are going to turn accounting into a highly profitable service, I would like to spend a few moments talking about personal journey of my wife, Sharda Bansali, who is also co-founder of Accountants World and me because that's very relevant to what we are going to be discussing. Now, we had a highly profitable and thriving tax software business in 2003. We all of a sudden sold that business. And my friends and family thought that we are going to be retiring. But to their surprise, we worked harder than ever. The question is, why would we do that? And the reason was that we uncovered a very disturbing reality of the accounting profession. We found that major corporations have used technology to penetrate deep into accountants' core services. Payroll service bureaus use the power of the mainframe computers to take away payroll business from accountants, which was their domain. Uh, using the power of the PCs, a solution created for small businesses, basically took control of accounting, and tax softwares took a big bite of tax preparation software. And we decided that we are going to use the power of the cloud to bring major business services, which is accounting and payroll, back to accountants and turn them into highly profitable services. So the question is, how do we do that? Now, before we can find the answer, we have to find what the challenge is, why accounting is a low profit margin service. And the reason is that accounting is no longer led by accountants. It is dominated by a do-it-yourself solution created for your clients and which is sold directly to your clients. And this has created huge inefficiencies. As you know, clients make bookkeeping mess. Uh, you spend awful lot of time cl uh, cleaning up that mess. Uh, amount of time you spend working with all different versions of the software and so forth. And not only that, it has diminished the perceived value of your role in your client's mind. And also, it has limited your ability to best serve your clients. And I believe you can very well relate to these challenges. So the question is, what is the answer? How can we solve this problem? And the answer is very easy. Put accountants back in the driver's seat. Now, this is really, and you can really, you know it. It is good for you and it's good for your clients. And this helps you build value for your firm and add values to your clients' businesses. And isn't that what you have been waiting for all these years? Now let's see, how do we use this concept and implement this concept in practice? And uh, we do it by doing things very differently than everybody else has done, uh, whether it is Intuit, Zero, or Sage. They all put GL system in the front, and what we have done is we have built this powerful system, unified account, professional accounting system um, on the foundation of very comprehensive um, professional system. 
and then this is what we first created and then on top of that we added a comprehensive bookkeeping system and this system is sold exclusively to professional accountants like you and then you decide how to use the system to best serve the needs of each of your clients you see the difference and that approach is the game changer putting you back in the driver's seat now in addition to all the powerful capabilities that you will find in any professional write-up and trial balance system uh, accounting power also has very strong capability for you to offer virtual CFO services that we are going to discuss so it's a combination of professional accounting system on which there is a uh, comprehensive bookkeeping system that includes virtually everything that you find in other uh, GL systems and all these things integrated and this is all sold to you so you do use it the way you feel most appropriate for your clients and um, as I told you you can use this to customize um, services for each client to offer them the best possible service and one of the things is that if you go and ask your clients do you love doing accounting actually you will find that and you already know it that uh, most of your clients find accounting as a hassle and given the choice they would like to offload it but you didn't have a way to offer this service profitably until now now using accounting power you can offer complete accounting services including bill payment and everything um, trial balance creating customizable financial statement and offering CFO services very easily and profitably and we'll show you how you can do that. Now chances are that a good percentage of your clients is still write uh, manual checks <clears throat> and then they dump those canceled checks and bank statements uh, on your desk and ask you to close their books. And we'll show you how you can make that after the fact write-up practice more profitable. You can also collaborate with your clients who want to do part of the work. You can customize the system for them so they can uh, they have the access to the functions they can perform easily and that's how you can minimize uh, client errors and absolutely, absolutely there is no file transfer working with different versions because this is all one cloud-based system. And you can offer CFO and high-level services which obviously are very valuable services for your clients and they can be very profitable services for yourself. So now write-up is uh, basically a lot of data entry and typically it's a low profit margin service because the clients you offer these services to are very price conscious. So you must be wondering how do we make this service more profitable and honestly there is a very easy way to make it happen. So what you do is uh, you send a link to your clients and uh, by clicking on that link they give you the permission to download bank statements and uh, bank sorry bank transactions and uh, credit card transactions from whichever uh, institution they deal with. Now they don't have to give you any login information and all you can do is download those transactions and nothing else so this is a very secure method once you have that permission you come to the screen and you click on eBank and once you do that within a matter of few seconds literally few seconds all the bank or credit card transactions are downloaded into the system now in this particular case when you did that the 50 new transactions were downloaded into the system out of those 59 new tra uh, transactions three 56 match with the existing vendors and three of them did not match with existing vendor so what you do is you click here and now a simple screen comes for you to add the new vendors and you can do it for all new vendors that were not in the system and you can also uh, assign aliases if the name on the uh, statement or bank statement is different than what is uh, uh, in your uh, system. Now, once you have done that, then this screen will appear. So once all, 
all the vendors have been taken care of, this screen address and this shows all the transactions that have been downloaded uh, into the system. Now you see here, these are highlighted item and it says there's a check. Now what do you do with that? So this is very simple. All you do is click on this item. That's all you have to do. And you click on view image and the image of the check appears. Now you precisely know what the check was written for and what it is for and you can make that entry and you can do it for every check that was written. Now you see how easy it makes the entire write-up work but there is little more. You can also download bank statements. So with this system you can not only download all the transactions, you can download all the checks and all the statements and everything that you need to do this, uh, your write-up clients work. Now imagine what this can do for your practice. Now obviously you can immediately see that it can dramatically reduce data entry time by maybe 70-80%. Also you know that uh, there are a lot of transactions to be entered no matter how good data entry person you have. It is the, it is, this, this process is prone to error. So by doing that you can virtually eliminate data entry errors. But think about it, there are a lot more other things that you can do with this kind of capability and it's a very remarkable capability you probably will not find anywhere else. And you don't have to chase after the clients to get the data which is a major hassle. If you are using this bank uh, download for clients who have done their own transaction entries, you can you, uh, uh, speed up the bank reconciliation using bank feed. But one of the most important application and use and benefit of this um, entire capability is that it can help you reduce taxes and crunch time. Now think about it, how many hours you between, uh, spend between January and maybe say March closing the books for all these write-up clients. Think about the number of hours you spend. Is it 100, 200, 300, 400 hours? Now imagine if you can reduce that time by 80%, what will it do to your taxes and crunch? Just think about it and you can really do it and a lot of accountants are already doing it. What you do is now you have 100% control over when you uh, do the right of work. So you can spread that spread this right of work throughout the year and at every month you can close the box. So now you spread it throughout the year, a lot of time is just like time for you which is the best use of that time and in the end you are left with only 20% of the work and imagine what this can do to your tax practice and how it can help you get home uh, in time to have lunch for your family even during the crunch of the tax season. Now I'm going to talk to you about another very important service and let me show you how this accountant centric approach that we are using streamline transactions processing including bill payment and this is a service most accountants don't offer because it is too much headache and very low profit margin service. I can guarantee that after you see how we have transformed this service you will realize how profitable this service can be. So now the approach is very simple. All your clients does is there's an app. Using that app all your clients does is take a snapshot of uh, the bills to be paid or they can scan those bills to be paid and they go directly into accounting power. And then when your staff logs in to pay invoices, all upload invoices are displayed and staff, and staff enters those invoices and then with a mouse click sends those invoices for approval to clients. Once the client approves, you can pay it with few mouse click um, 
using what we call digital jacks and I'm going to show you the entire process how it actually works now <clears throat> your client has uh, this client let us take uh, um, white horse sales limited this client has uh, downloaded or uploaded rather three uh, checks to be paid so this amount is here there are already six checks that are going to, uh, to be approved by him and 13 checks that are ready for payment for this particular client. Now let us see how the progress of this uh, particular client's uh, bookkeeping uh, services uh, progress. So your staff uh, clicks on this and sees there are three invoices to pay. It. This screen appears. And when you say click on unprocessed invoices, uh, bills, sorry, all these three bills that will be paid appear. You click on the first one to be paid. And the image of the bill to be paid appears. All you do is take the total from that image and enter into this uh, screen. And there are a lot of other capability if you need to take advantage of those and you do the same thing, your staff does the same thing for all invoices that have to be paid. And now once they have done it, when you or they come back to screen, this number has changed. So this was six before, they have entered th uh, three more invoices, so now there are nine invoices that are to be approved by this uh, client white horse sales. All you do is click on this and A um, email goes to your clients with the link and when your client clicks on that link he sees this screen for approving the bills to be paid. Now they have three different options. They can either pay all the bills in full, they may choose not to pay any bill or if they want they can decide to pay a bill partially. So in this particular case, imagine that this client decided not to pay this particular bill. Once they have approved, and now they tell us when they want the bills to be paid, and this is the final step on their behalf. And now you can see when your staff again comes to the screen, this number has changed and now it is 22 and there is one bill that the client did not approve that is still to be approved. 22 uh, bills to be paid. Now suppose you are offering this service to 20, 30, 50 clients and if you uh, start to print those bills they can run into uh, hundreds of bills every day and that could be a new, uh, real nuisance. So there is really an extremely easy way to pay all these bills and those the processes are called digital checks. <clears throat> now if until now traditionally if you want to pay anybody by ECA services or any, any other way electronically you need to get <clears throat> that person's uh, bank information and most um, businesses are reluctant to give you that information it's difficult to collect. With digital check you don't need any of that uh, information. It is the easiest way to pay bills. All you, you have basically their um, the address and everything but all you need for digital tech, yeah, check is just their email address, nothing else. And when the client, when your staff uh, clicks on the link to pay bills, emails all just with one click. If there are 20 vendors to be paid, 20 emails will go out to one to each vendor. And now with the link to cash that uh, check. And once they click on that link, a check will appear with two blank fields. One field to enter routing number, in another field to enter their bank account. That's all. And they click submit and that uh, amount is automatically um, 
gifts deposited into the bank account. So now imagine how easy the entire bill payment has become. So when you combine the seamless workflow and the use of digital check, what happens? It changes the entire paradigm of this complete accounting services. With this capability, your staff can do what your client staff does, only faster, easier, more accurately, and at a much lower cost, all from your office. Now, what can this do for your practice? Now you can offer highly profitable complete accounting services because with all these capabilities, your staff will be able to do all these functions at probably half the time that your client staff spends. That means even if you took the service from your client, and if they're not paying you a single penny more than what they're currently spending, you can make this service 30, 40, or even 50% profitable. So this is the beauty of it. And now, think about it. You know that most of your clients don't like to do any accounting work in their office. And if you can talk, tell them that you can take that work, chances are that a good percentage of those clients will want to you to take that burden over. So all you have to do is in, uh, that you have to let them know. And this not only relieves uh, their pain, it can also make your accounting practice grow significantly and make it very profitable. Now all you have to do is if you write them a letter or email and tell them yeah, I know um, you probably don't want to do any accounting work in your office and until now I was not able to offer this service now but now I uh, you can offload all your accounting work including bill payment to me uh, my firm and we'll do it and it's not going to cost you a, pen, a single penny more than what you are currently spending on. You will, and if you have staff, you will have no HR issues and you will be able to focus primarily on your business which is what you want to do and we can eliminate that distraction from uh, from your business and I'm pretty sure a good percentage of your clients would want to take advantage of this. Now I'm going to show you that a uh, couple of the um, options that we provide in uh, our system uh, to help you offer virtual CFO services. Now one of these options is uh, Snapshot and in this uh, under this option, on just one screen, you can see a bird's eye view of all many important um, uh, indicators or parameters of each client. Uh, these include um, the cash balances in their uh, bank account, includes accounts receivables, accounts payable, and amount of check return and there are some other things. Now, for each client you have, uh, you can set the threshold for each of these parameters and the threshold going to be different for different people. So, so maybe for client A, if their cash balance goes down 100 thousand dollars it may be an issue while for other clients even if the cash balance goes uh, is up to five hundred thousand dollars it's not an issue for them so you set those uh, threshold for each of these parameters cash balances accounts receivable accounts payable and say amount of check the person can write and any time for any of these uh, clients if threshold for any of these parameters goes out the bond, outside the bond, uh, then you are uh, going to be informed 
and that information happens uh, by this red color. So in this particular uh, case, cash balance for this particular client has really gone down under $10,000 and his threshold was perhaps uh, $10,000. And for this client, the threshold was uh, for accounts receivable was probably $500,000 and it has gone over that threshold. Typically for this client, widget manufacturing, typically Typically, they don't write any checks over $25,000 and looks like somebody has written a check for $27,500 and you are informed. Now you have choices. Uh, you can uh, call the guy, uh, sorry, call your uh, client and we are also be going to provide an option where you can send an alert to your client. And now this is how you proactively managing your client's businesses and identifying potential problems before they become the problem. Now, <clears throat> this is for all your clients and this way, even if suppose you have a large number of clients, uh, even 50, 60, 100 clients, you can really easily monitor uh, their fiscal health. Now, there is another option here and that is what we call client, client dashboard. Now, this is for each specific client. You will have a different dashboard and it gives you a bird's eye view of that particular client's fiscal health and it uh, shows all important uh, attributes. So first, you see there is a graphical representation of income. Now, you can compare um, this year's income, monthly income, versus last year's monthly income. You can even uh, compare income against, uh, say, budget. And there are a lot of different items that you can see graphic graphically here uh, under this particular graph. You can also have profit and loss comparison over different period. This shows the cash, bal cash balances in different accounts. And here is an important, uh, uh, it shows important parameter, which is the customer balances due. And by clicking on this amount, you can sort these by high to low or low to high. In this particular case, we have sorted this by high to low. Now, suppose if this was the uh, dashboard for the client who had $500,000 uh, in account receivable, now you know that about one third of this is owed by this one particular client. So now you know that where does this client has to go and which um, customers this client has to go after to solve this uh, potential cash flow problem and accounts, high accounts to save problem, so they can go after those clients in the order of priority. Also, this is a potential cash balance and it is a rough indication of um, the uh, cash flow. Uh, it uh, shows you the starting balance, receivables and payables, and that gives you a rough idea of uh, what the potential cash balance could would be once all these obligations are satisfied and the uh, payables are, uh, receivables are received. And if, uh, if assuming that some of the these receivables are not going to be coming in time. And if that can create a problem, you know what you hire your clients has to do to eliminate or, uh, that potential for uh, cash flow problem. Now, this graph shows um, expense analysis and this way it gives a good idea to the customer that where his money is going. Now, the best practice for you is to discuss uh, this kind of things with your clients on a regular basis, which could be, say, a monthly basis. Now, along with these two tools, we also offer a lot of other tools. I told you there is alert, so you can get an alert, or you can even get, uh, your client uh, can get an alert when such an uh, parameter fall outside the threshold. Performance report, what we discuss on dashboard, a report that includes a lot more information than the dashboard. 
can be generated in all graphical uh, representation that client can understand and it can also include things like financial ratios yeah so you can really make your clients aware of and keep them up to speed on their fiscal health system also create fully customizable financial statements this is very important your image is in your presentation and if with this kind of things you can create fully customizable financial statements in all different shape and forms um, as I told you the system has a professional capability for trial balance work and even things like uh, consolidation between different uh, companies so now think about it what uh, these uh, capabilities do for you now they can help you offer what your CFO services <laughs> and this is one service that definitely commands valuable and the reason is obvious first thing you offer value to your clients but another thing is which is uh, pretty important is that virtually every business owner knows what a CFO does and what value does it bring to the table and they also know that CFOs cost pretty much depending on the area of the country it could be anywhere from 100 to 150 thousand and upward of hundred fifty thousand dollars now small business clients can't afford that kind of money so if you went to them and told them that you know what I can offer you all important CFO services or services that a CFO offers not all but important services that a CFO offers like <clears throat> uh, monitor all your key performance indicator monitor your cash flow and uh, uh, keeping track of all uh, fiscal help of your company and give you know, advice on how to make your company more profitable and this is going to cost you say example ten thousand dollars or whatever is uh, appropriate for that particular client uh, for five thousand dollars whatever it is will you be interested in taking advantage of this service and you will find that uh, the clients who really uh, are looking to grow and are forward thinking would definitely would like to take advantage of this CFO services so this can become a highly profitable additional service to build value for your clients now I'm going to talk about another service which is considered as a commodity service and that is payroll services and what we have done is we have turned this payroll services into highly profitable service and we were the first one to do that in fact uh, way back in 2003 2004 we saw that uh, most accountants don't offer payroll services while service bureaus have turned payroll uh, services into highly profitable uh, service and we were wondering how did they do that and the reason was that they had powerful processing centers that they have created using mainframe computers and we said well we are going to cre give uh, create this very powerful payroll processing center on the cloud at that time as though no clouds on the web and give accountants access to that via the internet and we will offer that processing power for which payroll services service bureaus spend millions of dollars to accountants at a commodity price so you know what we did the same thing that uh, amazon dot uh, com did we turned processing power into a commodity for you and because of that accountants are now able to offer highly profitable payroll services and a lot of other vendors followed our suit including even payroll service bureau like ADP, paychecks, NGH, a lot of other vendors and because of that now tens of thousands of accountants are offering highly payroll or profitable payroll services and you can see the comments and experiences of what uh, how uh, many uh, 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 accountants have uh, gained from offering payroll services 
So as I told you, the key to this is automation. And what we have done is uh, complete automation of uh, all compliance work. So all you do is have a checkbox and you can, the system will automatically do direct deposit, tax deposit, uh, tax filing, um, and electronic payment of garnishments. Um, <clears throat> You can even minimize data entry because a, you can send a, a system automatically sends an Excel spreadsheet which is customized for each client and all they do is uh, uh, enter the data and once uh, that spreadsheet goes right into the system and all the data entry is done. You don't even have to print checks in your office. You can ch check securely or through the client portal and clients can print those checks in their offices. Um, Printing W. If you are offering, if you have a substantial payroll practice, you could be printing tens of thousands of checks or at least thousands of checks. And what we do is we give you a capability where you can print checks and um, batch printing with one uh, click, you can print checks for a number of employers and for all checks, uh, sorry, all W2s for number of employers. So it uh, uh, it you can do batch processing for W2 1099 in an extremely efficient manner and even for uh, send uh, mass emails and there are process manager and activity tracking uh, systems now think of the possibility and I don't have to tell you how this can make your practice a lot more profitable if you are not offering payroll services and if you are really looking to add value to your business this is a service that you should seriously consider. Now, I told you that uh, maybe value pricing is difficult and it is hard for you to implement. So what do you do? Do you charge hourly fee? And absolutely not. Hourly fee is an outdated, irrational system. More efficient you become, less money you make and that's not obviously what you, what you want to do. And everything we have discussed right now is all about working very efficiently using the power of the cloud. So what do you do? And there's a very simple method. All you do is take the average of uh, what client has paid you for these regular tax accounting and payroll services and then divide it into 12 months. And if you go to the clients and say that rather than charging you uh, the way I have been charging, which can create cash flow problem for you and create some unexpected expenses, I'm going to charge you X dollar per month. And clients are going to be extremely happy with that kind of a system because now they have predictable way, uh, way to predict their cash flow. And this is what most clients, small businesses look for. And as I told you, for virtual CFO services, you can still offer uh, uh, charge value billing, uh, value price. <clears throat> now, this is the recap. We showed you how you can make after the fact uh, accounting highly efficient and ultimately turn into a very profitable uh, service with much less hassle. Offer uh, uh, how you can uh, streamline the complete accounting services so you can make them highly profitable, offer virtual CFO services, um, offer bureau services which were not very profitable in the past, you can make them really very profitable and virtually hassle-free because system take care of all the um, compliance headaches and you do it by charging a fixed monthly fee. And there are many more other ways to use the cloud innovatively to add value to your um, practice, but unfortunately, I don't have the time to cover that. Now, <clears throat> I will conclude my presentation with an important observation that I have made in my life. Of course, value building for your firm is certainly important, and you can achieve it by do, by actually using the techniques we just demonstrated. But there are certain things in life that are priceless. And one of them is realizing your own passion. We were lucky that we realized our passion of bringing control of accounting and payroll services back to you, the accountants, and making a positive difference in professional lives of 
thousands of accountants like you. Now I must admit it wasn't easy. You must also have some passion. The passion for which you became an accountant. Something that makes you feel more accomplished and makes you feel proud of being an accountant. For many accountants I have talked to, that passion is to add value to their clients' businesses. They want to offer the advice and services that can help their clients become more successful. And if that's your passion, then you are lucky. Because what we have discussed until now can also make it easier for you to realize your passion. I wish you all the success. And if you remember in the beginning of the presentation that I told you that I'm going to be giving this presentation in hot spicy accent. And I hope that after this presentation, you might have realized that uh, occasional spice is good for your professional health. Thank you very much. Dave, can you bring up the last poll for, uh, that is needed for CPE? I certainly can. Um, so the third poll should be launching. Your voice is still uh, very low. Can you do something? Uh, yep. Here we go. Okay. So um, I've just pulled up the third poll question. So you should see that in front of you, attendees. Um, so the poll question is, my next step for my practice is to do the following. Uh, build value using the methods discussed in the webinar, build value using uh, value pricing, build value using other means, no change, maintain the status quo, or not applicable. So please go ahead and select the option that uh, corresponds to how you're feeling right at the moment. Make sure to click the submit button afterwards to make sure that your vote is counted. And final reminder, uh, voting in this question is required in order to gain CPE. And so we've got almost 90% of attendees having voted at this point, so we'll take uh, just about 10 more seconds here for people to go ahead and get their, get their comments in. Do, are there any questions or time for any questions? Uh, we've had some questions that have come in throughout. Let me see if there are any still applicable right now. Okay, if we can't answer those questions right now, we will send an email and answer those questions individually. If yep. anything really jumps out, uh, yeah, I think we have just uh, uh, run out of time. I All really right. appreciate and thank you everyone.